Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Twisted Joker, and today we're going to be playing some Starbound. I actually played quite a bit of Starbound with my friend Denzian a while ago. I learned a lot of stuff. The one, the one main thing that I learned was, when I was making my character and I was changing the undie color, I finally chose an underwear that looked exactly like my skin. So every time I respawn, my character looks butt naked, which is a bit weird. But when you look at it co closely, you see that it's a different shade of skin color, which is the color of the underwear. But <laughs> apart from that, I've learned a lot of stuff about Terraria, the, or rather Starbound, not Terraria. Why did I even talk about Terraria? This thing right here, the broken hero sword, is actually a sword. Since I assumed it something like a broken hero sword in Terraria, because you know it's a material, I thought it actually wouldn't be a sword for some reason. I just had assumed it. It would be. So yeah. Or can I not put this on my click? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. But I may need to move my weed seed away from my inventory bar. Let's put this here. I don't need weed. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to make a furnace. I actually learned how to make a furnace. You need a campfire, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some charcoal and gonna make my furnace. Alright, what do we need? We need about four more cobblestone block and then we need a campfire. We have the campfire. So let's go mine. One thing about this game I would really want is like torch light in this game isn't really that good. Um the torches are way better. And I hope like they improve the torch light a bit, because like it doesn't really give you that much of a like a field of view type of vision. Like it's just really short. Unless you want to look into really far stuff and then you wouldn't really want to use it. I guess, I guess it makes sense because like if it's far away, then you did you you would use a torch light, but then you can also use your mana manipulator or matter manipulator to power over blocks and see what's in there to scout apparently. But I'm not complaining. All right, let's collect ourselves some copper. We found some copper here, which is gonna be helpful to make a lot of new stuff. I'm on my way to make myself a hunting wooden bow. Is what I made? No, I think I made an iron wooden bow. I think that's what I made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty good. The one al also another thing I learned about bows. Uh, well, my friend actually told me this. I think what you gotta do is every bow has like a white, like line that comes out of it. I choose special arrows, and those arrows do a lot more damage. So it's it's kind it's kind of tricky to actually exactly predict a time for for the bow to become white and for you to use the special arrow. But, it's pretty cool that it has a feature like that. I need to go place my torch in a different inventory spot. Uh, I don't think I ever need the matter manipulator again. I don't think I, I, I'll ever need it. Bring ourselves, put ourselves a torch in here. Yeah, take that. It's just it's so easy. So much easier using this than the bow. Even though the bow is kind of cool. The bow has a really cool mechanic, to be honest. get some of those copper there we go and we shall try to get some more cobble to make ourselves a furnace I think we actually have enough cobble but I'm not exactly too sure so we're just gonna get a few more once I finish completing or once I finish mining these uh, copper everybody happy this copper is good I guess Copper is probably the worst element game. It's probably something worse, but I don't know. But yeah, this does have a lot of similarities to Terraria, but I guess it is made up by some of the developers from Terraria. I'm not exactly sure, exactly sure on that, but yeah, let me climb up here. There we go. Yeah, tons of copper or tons of cobble here. <laughs> I'm actually gonna kill the Salamance. I'm officially gonna rename this mob as Salamance. Hey, I'm really bad at this bow. I was gonna use the melee sword, which is a hell of a lot better. Or maybe it's just I'm bad at the bow. And that's why I think the other thing is better. Man, the music. The soundtrack. Oh yeah, one of you guys told me. It's actually called a soundtrack, not a music, and I feel like a derp saying music all the time. So yeah, the technical term for the word music in game is called soundtrack. Although it is music. 
Can you actually mine trees faster with this, or is it the same amount of speed as the matter manipulator? These things are pixels, right? Yeah. Pixels, I suppose, are things that you can actually make stuff with. My friend told me it's actually money in game, so I'm not exactly sure, sure on that, but. Yeah. I should go to this cave. This cave looks really cool. I do say it. Oh, there's water. Nice. Are those piranhas? Are those safe? I think they're safe. I'm gonna kill them. Okay, the music's gonna change in a second. Okay, no, they're, they're, they're safe. Don't worry. They're safe. Oh, that's cool. You can actually use your torchlight underwater. So I guess that's a lot useful. That's really useful, rather. Yeah, take that. Take that, you scorpion, porcupine, pink looking thing. Die. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to talk to you guys about my mic. I used this mic like a long time ago, probably a year, probably a year ago. This is my Razer Carcarius headset mic. I actually found out that it's actually better than my Turtle Beaches X12 or whatever. And if you guys like this mic than my previous one, you guys can probably tell me which one sounds better. Because I might actually be using this because this one sounds a lot better for me personally. I don't know about free. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but. Oh, there's more copper here. Nice. Oh man, I'm getting addicted to this. I'm getting super addicted. I need to go back to base and make myself a furnace. Got to do. I mean, actually, we're actually accomplishing a lot of stuff in this episode, which is really cool. Right, let's go back to our base. Can I just teleport there, or can I not? I guess the teleportation meter or whatever the bar on the side disappeared, so I guess I can't really teleport. Oh god, I don't want to go through here. Nice already. No, I feel like such a derp. I assumed this planet was derp. Like, this planet was called Earth. And then, I actually read the story, or rather my friend told me about it, how, how Earth was ripped apart and you actually needed fuel. Which is what I read, but I didn't quite exactly pay attention to it. So, yeah, that could be the reason why monsters are attacking me in here. Because the this isn't Earth. This is some planet that I just ventured into. Uh, okay, nice. I have my hunting bow. I don't really need my hunting bow yet. I need to make a furnace. They make a furnace. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Awesome. It's about time we play with fire. Got to clap, but let's actually remove one of the campfires in here. That like makes it weird. I don't know why. Oh, and another thing a friend, my friend told me was you can actually place back walls if you right click with the... Oh, you can't do that? Oh yeah, there we go, you can do that now. Yeah, you can actually place back walls, which is really cool. So, I'm really bad at placing these. I just messed that up completely. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at this. Get more wooden planks. There we go. We make some back walls, and our house is gonna be completed if we do so. Whoa, that's a lot of wood. I actually thought I had enough for those. Enough for those. Oh crap! I'm still not used to. Being able to right click to actually place down walls different from like the uh, front walls. But it does take quite a bit of time getting used to, I guess. Alright, so I think it's completed. Just a spot there, and there we go, our back walls is finished. Mind this off, make our house neat and clean, and then we can start making our furnace. I think I actually made our furnace. Yeah, yeah. I have to place my furnace down. So it should be somewhere in our bag. There we go. We're gonna take the plant plant fire right away, and we're actually gonna place our furnace. And there we go. Our furnace should be completed. Nice. This house is looking cool. Now let's actually mine the copper ore we have, or rather smelt to be exact. 
And while that's being done, does it actually? Yeah, it does keep it smelting. Nice. While that's being done, we can go mine some more. So yeah, I guess it's turned out to be a really good episode. We did a lot of stuff, although I am completely out of HP. So what I think I might do is I might end this video off. But before we do so, I'm actually going to eat some alien meat and show you guys how I actually to cook alien meat. So what you got to do is you got to do the same way you did the furnace. And you just got to cook it. It literally cooks alien meat. And we're going to take one of the alien meat. Actually, we're going to take two. And it actually cooks really fast. It's pretty cool. Um, and we're going to use our alien meat. How much does that restore? Does that restore anything at all, or do our bandages the only one that restores stuff? Okay, so alien meat does not restore health, apparently. So we're gonna go make ourselves bandages. There we go. Nice. Made okay, five bandages, and my friend told me that uh, to use your bandage, you don't really have to rapidly click your bandage unless you want massive HP regeneration. Because one bandage actually takes about, gives you about four HP bars or something like that. So, it takes about three bandages to fully restore you to full HP. So yeah, I guess this has been a really good episode. We, we accomplished a lot of stuff. I do have two more campfires that I can use if I want to make another furnace. Probably increase my smelting process. But, we're going to cut off right here in this episode. And we're probably going to continue on later today. So... Hope for a Starbound Let's Play later today. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Peace.